Director Ty West is back with a prequel to X called Pearl. It's an A24 joint. It's an A24 joint. If you loved X like I did, you might be very excited for Pearl. You maybe shouldn't be. For better and worse, you just don't know what you're gonna get with an A24 movie, and apparently with the Ty West movie. I really liked X. It was a classic slasher flick, had a great time period to it. It was very simple, executed impeccably well. But our boy West here is a creator and a visionary, and an artist. And so he wasn't gonna settle for the same thing again. Instead, he takes us back to the early 1900s, 1918 I believe. We have another period film, but this time, the style of it is more like Wizard of Oz. It has a very vibrant, punchy color palette. There's a silliness, a playfulness to it, even when people are getting murdered. It's like watching The Sound of Music or Mary Poppins until she pulls out a hatchet and starts going to town on your back. This is a fun, cool concept on paper. Execution is another story. This is a very, very slow character study. If you're going in for another slasher, Hugely disappointing. If you're gonna go in for some scares, not a single one to be found. Creepy elements, not, not really there either. We really have another centerpiece for Maya Goth to show that she's a phenomenal actress, which she absolutely is. But outside of the fantastic performance, this is artsy shit. This is for people that like Mother, Men, A Ghost Story, The Green Knight. A movie that really takes its time, really wants you to get into the psyche of Pearl. My problem is Pearl's just not that interesting. She's a crazy girl with a controlling mother and a lifeless father. That's, that's two hours for you. It's hokey, intentionally cheesy, has a 60s TV show vibe to it. And some of the scenes in this are like pulling teeth. For starters, when Pearl gets upset, she screams very loudly, very long. As a parent, one of the most excruciating noises you can hear is a child yelling bloody murder. A newborn baby screaming and crying at the top of their lungs for minutes straight is unnerving, but not in like a cool unsettling way, just like shut the hell up way. Pearl does this a lot and it can't be over soon enough. Later in the movie, there is an unbroken 10 minute camera shot on her monologuing. It's up close. She's sniffling, there's snot running down into her lips. She's like, eh, eh, eh. she's crying. I mean, what the hell is happening? Well, art is happening. And you're either on board or you're like me and you're just bored and want it to be done. It's a shame because as I stated, I really liked X and this had a cool idea behind it. I was hoping the colorful energy and the playfulness of it all was gonna get darker and darker as the movie progressed and Pearl starts to unravel. But no, it stays campy the whole time. The murders are even just like, what are you doing? This is so dumb. But the big question everyone's wondering, how's the scarecrow sex? It's, it's decent. It's a dry thrust. There's no nudity there. There's very little nudity or sex in this at all. It's part of the X franchise. This doesn't feel much like X. This is not gonna be a movie for a lot of people. This is definitely critic proof though. It's critic bait. I didn't like it at all. I am a critic. I am Rotten Tomatoes certified, so this is gonna be a negative on my mark. I'm gonna be dropping that grade down. Because there needs to be a voice for the common man out there. The person that can warn you. You're going into something that's very slow, that's not very captivating, doesn't have a lot to say, it's not profound. It's just an art house piece for Ty West. I'm glad that he's seen his vision through. I'm glad that he's taking chances. This is just not a chance that worked in my favor. Some people will love it, but tread lightly. There is a way end credit scene. What a waste of time. It's already online. It's just a teaser for the third Triple X movie. It's been on YouTube for a few days now. They don't add to it. It's just the little teaser that releases the name of the film and that's it. So don't, don't waste your time. Those are my thoughts on Pearl. Let me know if you're interested in seeing it still in the comments, if this sounds like a movie that's gonna be right up your alley, or if you're like me and you're just not really into this kind of thing. Regardless if we agree or disagree, I'd love to have you stick around. It's great to have conversations with people that don't even align with me sometimes, so we can see different perspectives on film. That's the goal of the channel. You can also join me on Discord at Adam Does Movies. It's open to everyone. We, we'd love to have more people there. And if I didn't mention it, please subscribe to the channel. I post tons of movie and TV show related content each week. Come on over, it's fun.
Hey, since you're still here, I should let you know this is a passion project for me. It's not my full-time job. I do put in tons of work and effort though, and I'm not like a lot of those other YouTube channels out there that are, are just so shock and awe now, where they have to pick sides and do this weird political commentary with everything. I just really like movies and shows. So if you could, please join me on Patreon or become a member here on YouTube Join. Adam does movies and just show your support for a channel like mine that's still really trying to grow. You could give a dollar or five a month. It gives you access to 300 private videos. There's a Discord channel specifically for Patreon and YouTube join members. I'm also on Twitch doing some of this stuff live at Adam Does Movies. So there's lots of ways to reach out, become a subscriber, become a supporter, and I would appreciate it.